This podcast is sponsored by Release Winery. Every wine tells a story. Each growing season, it's our goal to create an artisan Napa Valley wine of exceptional quality. Join us as the story of this ultra-limited wine continues. Learn more at releasewinery.com. I'm David Arthur Long, named after two grandfathers, like Laura was named after two grandmothers. Mm -hmm. I had David, my mom's dad, and Arthur, my dad's dad, and she had uh, grandmother Anna and grandmother Alice, and so her middle name is Annalise. What a beautiful name. Thank Thank you. No. Okay, you didn't. No, my dad was a butcher by trade. Started a little butcher, a uh, little butcher shop in 1948, and uh, became a successful butcher, which then turned into retail grocer, and then opened a, one of the first supermarkets south of San Francisco, behind Stanford University in a town called Ladera, which is this new bedroom community of Palo Alto, and. Uh, my father was just a guy that uh, was all about service and quality, and people would come from as far away as San Francisco, many times sending their butler by taxi, hmm. down to get my father's these really prime cuts of meat. And so he just grew this business by quality and service. If you had the tiniest little bag you could imagine, um, it was carried out to your car. No ifs, ands, or buts. It was, it was carried out to your car, and we would learn where in the car you wanted the bag placed. If you had pets, if you had dogs, mm-hmm. we would learn the names of your dogs. And it was, it was all about service. You know, Dad came from nothing, um, eighth grade education, and, and grew this company just by him and my mom working very hard, you know, hawking their cars to get started. I mean, really very difficult start, but they just, they stayed at it. And they were a good couple working together. They were really good together. Mom did the books, dad cut beef, and then opened this grocery store. And so my dad um, did well, and, and it was actually my uncle, who's also no longer with us, was my uncle Harry, who was a dentist that uh, he had traveled to Europe and gotten interested in wine and brought that interest back uh, to my parents and talked my parents into coming up to Napa Valley to taste wines and go to these different wineries. And they would drag me with them, which I hated. I hated listening to someone give a speech about the winery. And I can still remember the old days of being at Charles Krug and being at Louis Martini and listening to these talks was horrible. How old were you then? Oh, I guess maybe was I five? It was rough. It was so boring. My dad, of course, this just went on, and my father, he didn't know what part, with his lack of education, he didn't know what part he could play in the wine business. But uh, in talking to people about where to grow the best red grapes, uh, including Andre Telchev, they said, go east, go into these eastern hills right here. And... Uh, my dad started looking there and, of course, befriended Don Chapelet, and my father just fell in love with those wines and the quality. Just It was all about the quality. So when he started buying property, he bought property up here in Pritchard Hill. I have. I mean, I was born and raised here on this property and uh, I mean, know this road from being a little girl, it's dusty road before it was paved and no other wineries up on this side or homes. Um, always wanted to live in town and have a neighbor next door <laughs> so I could <laughs> right. go over to the neighbors and, to you know, nothing. play stickball in the street. Um, but it turned out this upbringing was pretty special. Yeah. yeah. I got to watch my parents start this business and it was just our way of life. I would be up at the, our little house up here on the hill, and uh, my mom would have a message to give my dad or some, you know, some lunch to bring down to him. And so I'd run down the hill to the winery, bring lunch to dad, and uh, you know, dad would say, "Okay, now, you know, tell mom this," and I'd run back up the hill and just, yeah, my mom did the bookkeeping for uh, David Arthur when they started the winery. 
The year she was born, 1985, first vintage the year Laura was born. That's an honor. Yeah. yeah. So I really, I mean, I've grown up watching my parents grow this business, and, and for much of my life, I mean, this was all I knew, um, was just the winery and, uh, and the vineyard here. Oh, oh, boy. That's a nice question. Yeah, I think that's, I've got to give this one thought because... I think I know. Tell me. Go ahead. Help me. I think it's about my favorite memories uh, growing up up here. And that would be just these, this really unique childhood that I had where I was riding around. A lot of people say, you know, they were farming and they rode around on the tractor with their father. I got to do that. We had a bulldozer at one time. I rode around on that <laughs> with forklifts. Dump trucks. Uh, dump trucks, all sorts of <gasps> these great memories. But they all kind of come back to sitting next to my dad and watching what he was doing and just kind of studying that, whether it was you know, operating this big equipment or you know, unloading or loading our wine press. Uh, and I really enjoyed that. Looking back, those are my fondest memories. Feeding our buffalo. Feeding the buffalo, yeah. We raised buffalo for 15 years. 